and bring up the next comedian that's going with absolutely crackers. That's right, he's from the capital of Venezuela. Please make a big hand for the comedy debut of the one and only Ruben Morales. <laughs> I usually don't perform in English, but thank you. How are you tonight? Woo! Yeah, I'm, uh, like he said, from Venezuela. It's a pretty difficult country to explain people, because uh, if you're in America, that, where are you from? Venezuela. They love me to tell that. <laughs> you always get the same. And here, I, I, I actually ask Venezuela, South America, South Africa. I'm like, no, South America. And my country used to be known for oil and pretty women, because we have uh, won like six beauty pageants of uh, Miss Universe, but now you get on a taxi, you say, I'm from Venezuela, oh, Chavez. <laughs> I'm like, shit. You know, Chavez is a good president, if you don't live there. <laughs> uh, he, uh, uh, to understand Chavez, you have to, you have to understand Chavez like a little baby. I mean, a baby can do whatever he wants to do inside his crib. <laughs> so for Chavez, the crib is the television. He, when you see him there, he's talking, talking, talking. Oh, here we go. You know, uh, it's, he's a weird president. And you know that when the other day, and I'm, I'm not making this up, he talked about he was shitting in his pants. He was going in a tractor and, oh, the tractor was vibrating, and suddenly I feel this in my, and I had to go running to a bathroom, and then a dog started to chase me, and I was like, hey, dog, 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 dog. It's real. So, Chavez is like a baby. You know, when babies, you don't, when you don't hear what a baby's doing, that's when you start to get worried. It's the same with Chavez. If he, a week, a way of television, you're like, oh shit, what is he doing? Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> and uh, the Americans actually asked me, oh, does he hate the United States? Does he, does he hate United States? Chavez, um, with his enemies, is, uh, he hates them in a uh, in, in uh, uh, proportional inverse way uh, with a distance. I'm going to explain to him. Let's say he's in Venezuela, he goes, Americans I hate, Americans I hate, Americans I hate, Americans are great, Americans are great, Americans are great, Americans, hi Obama, how are you? He's like that. <laughs> and so being here in Asia, is my first time in Asia, it's pretty weird. I went to Shenzhen and I went to a hotel. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And in the hotel, uh, I, actually I thought, wow, uh, Chinese people like uh, to have their shower in the middle of the room. And then I, I thought, Chinese people like to have their room with no closet. And then I realized, oh, I'm in a sex hotel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, I've noticed you have uh, the octopus card here. Uh, in Venezuela, I think if we come out with that type of card, it will be like a starfish card. Because its value will be, you know, under the sea bottom. <laughs> Everybody will want to grab it. And as soon as you take it out of where it lives, it, it dies. That's what happens with our money outside. So, you know, in Venezuela, uh, uh, the things are pretty bad right now. Uh, we have a lot of insecurity, uh, you know, uh, crime and all this. People actually, when they're in a mall, uh, looking at some clothes, they're not really looking at the, win on the, on the, at the window shop. They're using the window as a mirror to see who's going to come in and rob them. <laughs> so, uh, over there you feel the sense of um, insecurity when you're in the front of an ATM, a teller machine. Because um, uh, there's two options. Or the teller is going to rob you or somebody's going to rob you behind. <laughs> so it's better just to get away of it, let the burglar get your money and then you give him a commission. <laughs> and actually the ATM machine wants to, uh, you know, uh, have trouble with you. Because you're not, you know, you're not calm until you finally, you, you, you feel like you're in a casino machine. You know, you're not calm until, until you finally hear that, and you're, oh, my money's coming out. So, um, uh, the red light is ready on. 
Uh, I made a, a song because of the World Cup. I'm pretty, um, I'm pretty tired of the World Cup. You know, it's the same song, the same song you hear everywhere. So I made up my own spoon song. Okay, here it goes. It's the Coca-Cola song. Okay, okay. Meet the Asians, meet the Guaidos, meet the Indians, and then meet the Africans. They speak dialect Cantonese, Mandarin. I don't understand a thing. Oh, Hong Kong. Oh, oh, oh Hong Kong. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, uh -huh. I took love in the empty yard Cause I didn't buy enough to pull cars And if you go to mainland No, how to read? Cause maybe you'll eat a dog or a cat A dog or a cat M Maybe you'll eat a dog or a cat <laughs> 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 Alright, pronunciation Thanks a lot, it's been a whole good experience Keep up with the good guys What a great man. He, he did mention football. Obviously one of the big problems with football in South Africa is the Zoo the Baylor. You know, I mean, who wants to spend their time stuck in a room with a never-ending, annoying noise? Which is why the stage is now I'm getting back on the stage again. But please, make a big round of applause, make a lot of noise for the first Chinese comedian night, the one only, inestimable, Kenny Kwa! Mm -hmm.